Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video I will show you how to edit and color grade a outdoor portrait. And at first if you are new in this channel, let's hit the subscribe button. Not only the subscribe button, hit the bell icon also. So let's get started. So this is the image I am going to work with. At first I want to do some color grading. So copy the layer by pressing Ctrl and J and then convert it to a smart object. And now open it with camera or filter. So at first I want to decrease the temperature a little bit. I think yeah minus 9. That's good. Okay, if you press Q in the camera row, then it will give a before and after view. So I am choosing this. And now I want to add some contrast i think 15 is good yeah that's good and then i have to decrease the highlights because the highlight area are a little bit more exposed in this photo so i have to decrease it i think minus 59 this is good and and to bump up the shadows i think 69 is good and i need to decrease the white i think minus 20 minus 21 that's good and decrease the black also i think minus 44 is good and i to increase the vibrance and saturation but not too much i think 15 for vibrance and just four for saturation and then go to the curves and create a point here and click this point and drag it to the up just little i think yeah, this is fine and then go to the sharpening tool and I want to add some sharpening I think 18 is good and I to leave this thing at some detail and press and hold alt and then you can see this the sharpening will apply on the white part on the edges so I am yeah H2 for masking that's good then come into the noise reduction and I'm giving 22 for luminance and 32 for color that's good and then go to the ASL adjustment option and come to the hue and here I am giving minus 15 for yellow and minus 100 for green look at this the green turns into yellow and then go to the saturation and to increase the red just a little bit i think 15 is good and also four for yellow that is good and 53 for green and 25 for aquas then go to the luminance and i'm giving 30 for orange and 25 for red that's good and minus 28 for green then come into the split toning option and in the shadow section i am giving i'm giving 210 for hue and five for saturation and six for balance that's good then go to the effects and come into the vignetting option and i am giving minus 18 for this and decrease the midpoint i think 39 is good and increase the feather I think 85 is good and also the highlights I think 33 that's okay then come into the camera calibration and into the blue primary channel I'm giving minus 8 for hue and 16 for saturation that's good I think it's done look at the before and after and now press ok when you are done so let's see the before and after again look at this this was the before and this is the after and now 
and to create a selective color adjustment layer and I'm selecting yellows here I'm giving minus 21 or minus yeah minus 21 for cyan and 22 for magenta and 9 for yellows that's good and then select green here and minus 12 for cyan and then select neutrals and minus 7 for cyan this is too much i think minus 1 for magenta and minus 4 for yellows that's good look at this this was the before and this is after it looks great and now press shift plus ctrl plus alter plus e to merge all the layers into a single layers and now i want to soften the skin for this you can use of my action link is on the description and in this tutorial i am using skin finer filter So the skin retouching is done and look at this let's zoom in and I think the highlights area a little bit more exposed so I need to reduce it create a new layer and then pick eyedropper brush let's zoom more and select the sample of your skin just near the highlights sample and pick a brush and flow I think just 2% opacity 100% pk soft brush and then let's zoom and just paint press i to select the eye drop then pick color press b to select the brush and then paint so press i pick color and press b then paint the simple method Let's see the before and after. This is the before and this is the after. Look at the difference. Let's see the before and after. This is the before. Look at the highlights. It's gone. Let's do this part. Look at this before and after again. This was the before and this is after. And I'm happy with this. And now I want to add a color lockup. And I'm selecting fall colors. Look at this and decrease the opacity around I think yeah 22% that's good look at this before and after and then create a gradient map and select black and white I'm selecting this and now change the blend mode to soft light and decrease the opacity around 20% look at this this is the before and this is the after create a gradient map again and I'm choosing this gradient press ok and test the blending mode to soft light and decrease the opacity around 25% look at this this is the before and this is the after it creates a warm glow effect and then I want to darken this part a little bit so create a new layer and and pick a black soft brush flow 100% opacity 100% and now just paint like this 
and change the blending mode to soft light. Decrease the opacity a little bit, just like this. Get this before and after this is the before and this is the after it looks great and then let's zoom in and i want to enhance the eyeball enhance the eyes so create a brightness and contrast adjustment layer and increase the brightness i think Yeah, 123 for brightness and 64 for contrast but I want this effect only in the eyes so click on the mask and press ctrl and I then what pick a soft white brush and make it smaller let's zoom in a little more and just paint like this like this look at the difference this is the before and this is the after it looks great and now I want to enhance the lips a little bit for this creative brightness and contrast adjustment layer again and I'm giving this time 62 for brightness and 36 for contrast and click on the mask and press ctrl and I sorry click on the mask and press ctrl and I and now pick a soft white brush and just paint so we decrease the opacity i think this is good and now just paint and create some highlights and in the eyes also you can paint so let's see the before and after this is the before and this is the after you can also paint like this look at this this is the before and this is the after it looks nice to me let's zoom out it's the before and this is the after you can always decrease the opacity that's good and now create another layer and pick a soft white brush and now just click i think yeah the opacity should be 100 percent and now press ctrl and t make it bigger and place it on the corner change the blending mode to soft light and now i want to add this light press ctrl and t make it bigger and now change the blending mode to screen Press Ctrl and T and make some adjustment. That's good. You can always decrease the opacity a little bit. So, the editing is done. Let's see the before and after. This is the before. And this is the after. It's really good. So, I hope this video will help you and if you like this video hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe